In this video, you're going to learn how to make a polyhedron ball. You'll start out by making 30 of these shapes. You can find a printout in the link in the description below. Uh, before you get started, you'll want to take each of these shapes and roll them along a cylinder so that way they're a little bit easier to work with. So we'll start out with this, these five green ones that I first made. Uh, made. An important tip is that flat sides always go to rounded sides. So we want to start by hooking two sides, two of these edges together, and then bending the rounded one, and then bringing those two together. We will, looking at where these two rounded sides come in, we'll hook on a new piece. We will push our rounded one up and hook it together. And we'll keep going around until we have a star shape. You'll notice that now I have five ends coming together there. And that around here, oops, except for this one, which I forgot, you have two. So we're going to pay close attention to that in the next part of this. For the next round, we'll take our, our blue pieces and everywhere where there are two coming together, we will attach it. Again, we make sure our flat side is meeting up with our rounded side, which then means our rounded side meets up with our flat. So we always want to start with the area that has the most number of connections. So I'll hook that in. And then I'll move on to our next one. Remember, there were two green here. So I will hook this in. And this one has the second most number of connections right there. And this one doesn't have any connections. And now there are two edge connections. We'll go with our next one. Again, hooking in here where there are the most. And then here where there are the second most. And then lastly here. And we want to make sure that these connections are tight. It doesn't matter so much at the beginning, but as you get further along in this process, it becomes more important. And we have one more in this uh, the second round. We'll hook it in. And then again, we'll bend up our last screen and hook this in. OK. Next, I have five purple that we're going to connect in, and we also have five red. This is going to be the middle level of our ball. So again, I'll, this, so we can see that we have five here, and then around it we have three. And here we already have three. So what this tells us, since there's still open space around here, is that this is going to be a five connector, just like our green, except this one will be made out of multiple colors. So to make it easier to understand, we'll first hook in our purple. Again, rounded, we bend the rounded and hook in the flat side. And we're going to take our red, bring this in to this mix, and then again, bend our rounded side. And over here, bend our rounded side of the red. And there we have our first of five connections for our middle section. So again, where do I want to start? Not here, because this only has two. I start here, where there are already three. I hook it in, make sure it's nice and secure. And then I carefully bend up the blue, hook in our purple. I'll hook it in here as well. And then I grab one of our next red pieces. I hook it in to this hub, making five. And I bend up our purple. And I bring our, I bend up our red. And again, it's important that you do that pre-bending. Otherwise, uh, your paper might end up buckling and possibly ripping. So again, we work from the most number of connections to the fewest. So this is my third section of my red and purple midsection.
and it will only get trickier from here. So we want to again make sure that we are making sure our areas are very tight together, our ends, our hooks are very tight together. Last one for our number four. And our number five. So again, hook this in to make four connectors. Hook it into that side. That has three. Hook it into here. That has two. So see, the threes are almost complete. We have one more three connector to finish. Now our last five connector there is finished. Hooking in. Oops. It's generally a good idea to work from most connectors to fewest. And then one last over here. Okay, so we have two layers to go. We are going to go to our orange next. And these is, are going to be very similar to our blue layer, our second layer. So we'll start with these areas where we have two that are kind of further down on our ball than these ones. So connect there and then we can tell that this is complete. This is these this is a three. This is going to be a five connector. So we'll connect in with these other two areas. Things start to get quite a bit tighter here. So we want to pay close attention, make sure we don't accidentally force the paper and then rip it. Third one, so again, flat side goes underneath the rounded edge. Then we bring up the rounded edge to allow us to hook our orange. And then we bring up our orange to allow us to hook underneath our purple and red. So again, a hook, and then bend and hook. And then bend and hook. And our very last orange, hook in. I'm going to see this one isn't quite as even, so I'm going to just adjust it a little bit so that way there's even about even spacing between these. That way I know it's a secure connection. All right, hook in. And then hook in. Okay. You can see that there's kind of a star shape here, which is similar to where we started with our star shape for our green. This we're going to make out of silver, and this is going to be the trickiest one of all, and the one that you decide that you need to have the most patience for. So again, we'll start with our area that has the most number of connectors, our, our fours, and we will carefully slide it under and hook it in. And then hook there and hook there. And you can see my paper on this last one is bending quite a lot. And we find our, our five section or our four, make it a five by hooking that in. And then we find our, this is now going to be a three. Oh. Again, the sturdier the paper, the better here, <laughs> especially for this last one. It's going to be an extremely sturdy shape being made out of paper. Um, you'll see in just a minute. So careful, slide it under. Oh, there we go, nice and sturdy. And careful, carefully bend that orange and hook that in. Oh, two more. Carefully slide in our silver. Bring it around to this side. Bend it in, hook it around. And bend our orange and hook it in. 
last piece and then just a little finishing work so hook it in slide it in oh almost and one last one this is this will be really tricky oh Again, if you have trouble um, with this, you might ask a friend who has experience with origami to help because uh, paper folding can be quite tricky if you're, if you're not used to doing it. Okay, that's, that connection is a little wonky, um, but we might be able to sort it out once we finish this last part up top. This part is actually kind of fun almost. So we'll just very carefully arrange these to make a five connector area. So they should all kind of nest together just like all your other connectors. And it's, it might be helpful if you pull all of them out a little bit first. There we go. Again, have some patience here. And it's okay to bend the paper, just be mindful that you're not ripping it. Oh, almost. If you're having trouble with this part, you might want to put, try pushing it very gently in towards the center of your ball. All right, and there we go. Now I can take some of those connectors that were a little silly and didn't want to go in all the way and just make sure they're nice and tight. And then you have your polyhedron ball.